Hi, everyone. My name is Dr. Gina Newsom duncan and I am the lead mental health expert with the Steve Fund's Families Healing Together initiative. Helping our children make sense of the senseless violence and political turbulence we are living through, helping them feel safe and secure when we ourselves feel unsafe, requires having difficult conversations. But how do we approach these conversations? If you're like me, this can be challenging. On the one hand, I want to make sure that I'm fully opening the lines of communication with my children so that they are informed about what is happening in the country and around the world, and so that they have a platform to express their thoughts and feelings. On the other hand, I feel hesitant. How much information is too much? What if I give them more information than is age appropriate and it triggers greater anxiety? What if they ask me questions like, why does this keep happening? And I don't have a good answer. What if they see that I am afraid and it makes them feel even less secure? All of these are valid concerns. And please know that there is no perfect way to address this. The key is to do something. I would encourage you to meet your child in whatever way you think may be best based on their personality and their interests. For example, when do you tend to have the best conversations naturally? Does your child tend to open up in the car on the way home from school, at dinner time, or before bed? Sometimes communicating directly face to face and making eye contact can be uncomfortable when you're discussing a difficult topic. In that case, you may wanna try going for a walk together and talking as a way of helping the conversation flow more freely. That's actually what my daughter and I did recently. If you're having trouble getting the conversation started, go to stevefund.org slash family corner. Remember, you matter, your children matter, and so does your mental health.